Welcome to Conway, South Carolina, where your voice matters. Do you want to know what's happening in your local government? Do you want to know more about things happening in our community? Hi, I'm Adam Emmerich. I'm the city administrator for the city of Conway, and I'm here to help. Tune in to Ask the Administrator to get your answers. If you have questions, you can submit those to the City of Conway Facebook page or by email. It's great to be back again with you this week. There was a question in the last batch that I ran out of time to address, and that dealt with teenagers being disrespectful near Ladybug Park, our inclusive playground at the Conway Recreation Complex. We agree that this is a problem. We hope that our young residents will have more pride in themselves and those around them than to be intentionally disruptive to others. That being said, they are kids in a public park enjoying themselves. We want them to do better, to be better behaved, but we also need to acknowledge that they have a right to be in the park and to enjoy it as well. We've tried adding amenities in other areas of the complex that might be more enjoyable for them, and our recreation staff, and sometimes the police, have had multiple conversations with them as well. At this point, we do not have a great solution, but we are still working to find one. In the meantime, we ask that if you encounter something in any of our parks that makes you feel unsafe or uncomfortable, or just to report a burned out light or maintenance issue, please contact with us with this information. As our city grows, we need more and more of you to help us make sure that it looks and operates perfectly. And that is my segue into what is a continuing discussion on growth in the area, specifically in the city. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about bridges and flooding. There are only six bridges across the Waccamaw River in the entire county, 50 miles from North Carolina to Georgetown County, and only six bridges. The oldest of which is the Main Street Bridge, which is closing in on 100 years of age. The only other bridge in the city is the 501 Bypass Bridge, which was built in 1958, nearly 70 years ago. There are nearly 40 miles between the Bypass Bridge and the next bridge to our south in Georgetown County. Nearly 100,000 vehicles cross the Waccamaw River daily on these six bridges. We need more bridges. I think that is clear from those numbers. The bad news is that it takes a long time to build a new bridge and a lot of money to do so. The preliminary studies alone can take close to a decade. The good news is that there is a chance to get two new bridges over the Waccamaw River in our lifetime. There's a referendum on the November ballot to approve a transportation sales tax. This is not a new tax, but a replacement of the existing ride sales tax program that built Highway 22, Highway 31, widened 707, built the interchange at the back gate, and is about to widen Highway 501 from 544 to Myrtle Beach. This tax will take one, the old one's place and will last longer, long enough to do some very big projects, like two more bridges over the Waccamaw which will help with our traffic and resiliency immensely. And there's no way I could address flooding in a format like this completely. I've done hours long presentations at conferences on just Hurricane Florence. So what I'd like to do is address the relating flooding to this. We expect to flood every year. We expect and plan for every hurricane to hit us. We prepare for this with practice drills and with lots of experience. We understand that many of you have moved here in the last five years and have never truly experienced a hurricane or hurricane-driven flooding. Even if this describes you, I ask that you prepare like we do. Our goal for the city and every resident is that by us making changes to how we do things, how our city can adapt and respond to floodwaters, and how prepared you are for the next inevitable flood, that when it hits, it is just a nuisance. No lives lost, no one injured, no property damage, just an inconvenience. That's our goal. We cannot stop flooding from occurring, but we can minimize the impact. Obviously, being ready for a flood isn't as easy as preparing for one, and so we've made a lot of infrastructure improvements as well. After Hurricane Matthew in 2016, we, we started a buyout in partnership with FEMA, in which we purchased 42 homes and businesses that were most impacted by flooding. In the space where those homes once stood, we will build the first man-made Carolina Bay, which will clean and store stormwater from the Sherwood neighborhood, reducing their flash flood risk and building a flood berm around the Trinity Church. We will also construct two similar stormwater projects along Crabtree Canal that will store millions of gallons of water and help improve water quality at the same time. We've used natural features to harden our infrastructure against floodwaters. We've raised our utility infrastructure to protect the pumps, We've removed buildings and other facilities that were likely to flood again. And in so doing, we've continued to incredibly make, make this city an incredibly resilient city. 
We've also added hundreds of acres of conservation property to protect it from development and allow for more areas of water storage during storm events. As of January 2023, we've had nearly 3,500 acres of property in some level of conservation in the city. And this summer, we will add hundreds of more acres with the transfer of property from Santee Cooper to the city. A testament to this working was the flood of the winter of 2020. Everybody remembers 2020 for a different reason. But in January and February of 2020, Conway faced the sixth worst flooding in its history. The worst flooding ever not caused by a tropical system. We had no property damage, no loss of life, and barely anyone noticed. That, we hope, will be what Conway is. A city that floods and no one notices. Next time, we will continue our discussion of growth. This time, we will touch on parking in downtown and the rules that govern new housing. We'll see you then. Thank you.